Right, right. Anita, are you still with us? I am. Okay, just want to make sure you haven't, you know, left us. All right, cool, cool. Just curious, Anita, you mentioned you're a doctor. What is, what sort of, what's your degree in? Uh, I, my um, specialty is obstetrics and gynecology. So okay. I'm intimately involved in a lot of relationships in a most intimate way uh, between people. So I've been in practice over 30 years, and I have a lot of experience on seeing what type of couples stay together and what type of couples don't stay together. Okay, interesting. You, um, Let me just ask you, and this is kind of a personal question, do you actually do coaching yourself? I coach every day in my office with most patients coming in. I try to okay. impart some insight to people at their various needs that they may have at okay. the time. Awesome. Uh, the reason, I, and the reason I was asking, and this is a personal question. Segue. I'm a, I'm actually a licensed life coach, and I would love to just kind of talk with you. And you know, I have pe- I have individuals that once I'm once they kind of hit an apex, I actually pass them off to different individuals. Uh, I would love to talk with you, you know, once the show is done. Uh, so if you could inbox me um, at Blair Nash on, on social media, or I don't, know if, I don't know if you're on social media, or my email address is nashlb at hotmail.com. I would love to talk with you and just kind of um, get your information and maybe we can do some work, do some uh, business together in the future. That would be great. Awesome. Well, and, uh, and Monica, Anita, are you, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, go, go ahead Blair. Keep going. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I go ahead. Uh, I, I was just going to ask uh, just two questions. How long have you been uh, a practicing physician? Uh, approximately about 30 years. All right. That's a long time. So you've seen. That's enough time to have seen. Uh, changes in the generations. So uh, are you seeing a difference in young couples now with the idea of marriage and commitment than you did 20, 25 years ago? That's a very interesting question, and I had wanted to put that in my answer. And uh, I'll put it this way. Over the generations, love is different. So love between two different generations I find it may be a little difficult because your values are different and what you see is different. So as you approach, and let me say it like this, maybe millennials versus baby boomers or those different types of of persons, the the values are different. So coming together with those values, lower class versus middle class, the various age differences and expectations are different. So just communication brings it together a little bit closer. And I think through great communication, you can find out if you're compatible, if you share the same values, if you don't share the same values. Well, that is, so that's perfect. Now I want to, where I was coming from is that when you look at millennials specifically, uh, many of them have, been the children of divorced parents. So they may have a very, they may not have the uh, same idealism about marriage as, uh, let's say, a baby boomer uh, or or even Generation X because in, in the 90s there were a ton of women who just wanted to have the fairy tale wedding and they a lot of those weddings ended up in divorce and they ended up, they had debt of, you know, twenty five, fifty, or $100,000 dollars. So a lot of these millennials are the children of of those people. So I'm wondering, just from what you're seeing, is there some kind of uh, fear of marriage, or do they have a bad taste, or 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 some kind of confusion about, you know, how do we stay together? Because maybe they didn't have the greatest examples of of family staying together. <laughs> Well, that is true, Ted. Sometimes I do my own research in my office. I ask different people different questions based on their age group, and I do find that the millennials, because where they are, their inability to afford homes, their own apartments, 
where they're coming from. Their idea of love and relationships are very different from what I had when you could have the opportunity. You know, you, you most of us may have had it coming up. We had our own apartments at 24, and I find the millennials still staying home, sometimes up to age 30, because they're just trying to establish themselves, completing their education, maybe staying at home in order to save money or help the family with the education and make it a little less expensive for the family putting out. Um, it's, it's, it's very interesting. And I find that okay. they don't think marriage is that important. They're more about just moving through the day, as I would say. They like well, to just Sarah, move think, in through the day. Do you think they're more about domestic partnerships, or are they just kind of like, I don't want to, I mean, where do you, where is their mindset as far as, do, the, do you find that they actually want relationships, or do they just not want the whole concept and model of marriage? I find all generations want to be loved. It doesn't make a difference from 80 all the way down to the 20s. They want to have a relationship, a great relationship, and a lot like to have a family, and they want to be financially secure. But in terms of millennials being financially secure, they're really going towards their education. They're trying to build that. They found that their education is going to make them financially stable. So they tend to put off a lot of relationships to go ahead with uh, financial betterment of themselves and even delay their their childbearing into later years so they could be more financially stable. Hmm. Very interesting. Definitely very interesting. And, and you could also divide that among race. I practice in Queens, so there's various types of people, uh, Middle Eastern people, Caribbean people, American people, and the way that they they create their families are different. Their values are different, so their families are different. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Monica, are you still with us? Yes, I'm still here. Very interesting conversation. Uh-huh. I like it. All right, what are your thoughts? You got any? Because any, any, we're about to come to a to a close here in about the next ten minutes and everything. What are your? Do you have any more thoughts, feedback, or anything? <clears throat> yeah, I, I think it's interesting um, what I'm about to Martin said as far as um, she's seeing people perhaps putting um, marriage and um, having kids off a little later. You know, that's I've read articles about that. I think it's true. For some people, some people will still just go jump right into it.